So here we are up on Specimen Ridge on Amethyst Mountain in the summertime. So green. And we also have some new uh, aspen trees here, which I think look pretty nice. Some of them have that classic kind of split double trunk form, two trunks growing out of the same root. You know, aspens are a colony tree, and so all these aspens are actually the same organism, all connected underneath in the root system. Anyway, so as you can see, along with Lost River, and new animal behaviors for the saga and a bunch of other stuff. We've been chipping away on the upcoming feature that's part of the saga of being able to play the entire game arc on Amethyst or on Slew Creek or on the upcoming Lost River DLC or on future maps. But before I get into that, let me just ask anyone out there who's got the game on Steam and likes it and hasn't written a review yet, please write a review. It makes a big difference. Okay, so making Amethyst playable across the entire game arc involves a lot of things, setting up the ground textures, the seasonal vegetation models and the like. But the biggest task actually is creating a bunch of new dens for the Amethyst map. Now, way back when we first chose Amethyst as our location in 2005, we didn't think about where dens would go here. And unfortunately, the Amethyst map is not well suited for dens because wolf dens, first of all, need to be in the lower elevations and Amethyst goes from about 2,000 meters or 6,000 feet in the valley floor to about 3,000 meters or 9,600 feet at the summit of Amethyst Mountain. So only the lower third of that, at most, is suitable for dens. And more annoyingly, the map sort of faces north, northeast, with the cliffs up there, and, um, and that eliminates a lot of potential areas for dens, because dens need to be south-facing to get that warmth from the sun in the very chilly springtime in Yellowstone. So that means we're going to have to look at uh, south or southeast or southwest facing slopes, which are basically above the, the two main creeks here, Amethyst Creek and Chao Sydney Creek, and they've got some nice slopes here. So, so that's going to be where these things are located. So basically in two bands above, the, above those creeks. You know, in the real Yellowstone, wolves actually den across to the north of the Lamar River on the south facing slopes of Druid Peak here, like the Druids, but others as well. Unfortunately, that is off our map. Uh, so we're stuck with the slopes of Amethyst Mountain. Anyways, so here I have started on one. You know, most wolf dens are pretty simple. They're just holes in the ground. And uh, we've looked at a lot of pictures of wolf dens and they're not very elaborate. And we've got a bunch of those, but it's always fun to make more interesting ones. And so one thing I've always wanted to do is make a den under a fallen tree, a full fallen tree, not just the stump that we have in Slow Creek. And so here we have a fallen tree with a pretty elaborate root structure. And so here's our starting point. So then there's a lot of work to paint the textures on the terrain around that and carve the terrain and, and raise it and lower it and indent it to carve out this cavity where the tree once stood. But the underside of the tree still looks pretty simple and crude. But I wasn't quite sure what does a big tree look like when it's fallen over. Fortunately, a couple weeks ago, we went camping in the Black Hills in South Dakota. And so I was lucky enough on one hike to come across this beauty. And so this fell over quite a while ago. You can tell by the, the way the, the roots and the bark have faded to white. But there's still quite an enormous amount of dirt held in place by the root system. And so I thought, ah, okay. So coming back, I used those photos as reference here. And uh, first of all, put a big clump of dirt at the base and then got some nice little root models and just tried to make a mess of them. So this is using three root models. And so what I tried to do is similar with the, the rock models that I showed last time making the two-step waterfall, just use these three models and just rotate it and rescale them and flip them around because one of the things we're always concerned about in, uh, in the game is texture memory. The more textures there are, the more memory the game requires in that obviously becomes a problem if it gets to be too much. And so by reusing the same models with the same couple textures over and over again, we can keep texture memory from getting uh, out of hand and still create a nest of, of roots here. So this is getting closer to what I think it should look like. I still want to see how I can dirty it up some more, but you get the idea. So I was wanting to show you uh, some pups coming out of this den, but hit a bug with the quest progression. So can't do that right now, sorry. But instead, I'll show you that this is a, a den with a view. You've got a nice view here down looking into the Chow Sydney Creek and out into the confluence of the Lamar River and Soda Butte Creek. So this, this den and being able to play the whole game arc in Amethyst or in Slow Creek is coming probably before the full saga. Not real soon, not imminent, but we're working on it. So I guess it's coming sort of soon, soonish, semi-soon to WolfQuest Anniversary Edition.